Hi there, and welcome to the Learning R for Data Visualization, a video course by Pact Publishing, authored by Fabio Veronesi. I am Paul Bailey, and I will be the voiceover for this course. Fabio has obtained a PhD in digital soil mapping from Cranfield University and then moved to the ETH Zurich, where he has been working for the past three years as a postdoc. He learned R in his PhD and has been using it every day since. R provides advanced statistical techniques, powerful programming, and elegant graphical capabilities. Please visit his personal website, www. Dot Fabio dot net for more information about him and his work. He also maintains a blog, www.r-video-tutorial.blogspot.ch, where you can find short tutorials on R. This video presents an overview of what this course is all about. R is a really powerful programming language, ideally suited for scientific research. It features a series of powerful graphical libraries, which we are going to explore in detail in this course. We will dive right into the use of powerful graphical libraries. Therefore, you will need to be familiar with R to be able to follow the course. Throughout this course, we will present various graphical libraries in R that will allow you to master the creation of static and interactive plots. This knowledge will lay the foundations for the creation of a fully featured plotting website in Shiny. In section one, we will start the course by learning how to create common types of scientific plots with ggplot2, such as histograms and scatter plots. Here we will focus on learning the code syntax to start producing plots with ggplot2. Afterwards, in section two, we will dig deeper into the functionalities of ggplot2 to fully customize our plots. We will learn how to set access labels, change colors, and add a legend. After these sections, you will have all the technical tools you would ever need to produce elegant and powerful graphs in R. In section four, we will explore in great details all the possible way that ggplot2 offers to export our results. Here, we will see how to save images in various formats for example, bitmap or vector format. We will also look at changes into the resolution of the image so that your plot is ready for publication. Then we will shift our focus towards the creation of powerful web-based interactive plots in section five. Here, we will learn how to translate all the type of plots we covered before into their interactive versions, which can be easily embedded on websites, blog, and social media posts. In this section, we will be able to create JavaScript plots directly from the R console. This way, we will be able to produce powerful plots, full of interactive features that will astonish your peers. Finally, in this section, we will explore Shiny. Here, I will guide you towards the creation of a fully functional website, able to import your data and create beautiful plots. This will allow us to review the concepts we explored while learning ways to build complete websites directly from R. This is a preview of what you will be able to create at the end of this course. I will present easy step-by-step -step ways to create a website with an extensive array of capabilities. This website is able to load data in various formats from the user hard disk. Users can then select which type of plot to produce. And based on their selection, the system will change according to the variables the plot would need. In this example, the system knows that for a histogram, we just need one variable and adapts the user interface. However, for creating scatter plots, we can select multi numerical variables, including one for the color scale and one for the size of the points. In this case, the system adapts the user interface to show all possible combinations users can choose to create the perfect result for their needs. In this course, we will thoroughly cover all the most important aspects of scientific visualization. At the end of the course, you will be able to master the use of ggplot2 to create intricate but stylish and elegant plots ready for feature in your next scientific publication. 
you will also be perfectly able to produce informative web-based plots directly from the R console. Finally, you will learn how to use Shiny to create your own website where your work can be presented to the general public in an intuitive and extremely powerful way. In essence, you will be mastering scientific plotting.